Hey, desert dwellers and wannabe desert dwellers. <clears throat> Welcome to the late spring update. I wanted to put this off a little bit just because I wanted to clean up. I apologize, things are kind of a mess. I thought about it for a while and then I just said, screw it, let's... Let's just do the video as things are. So, let's get started. Now, whatever day this gets uploaded, so you know, today is the 13th of June, 2024. So, <clears throat> this is how the cabin is. My nice comfy bed, clean some blankets, eggs, yeah, went back to smoking. The uh, new railing I installed, this is going to be like a soffit sort of. I'm going to put some 2x4s that run across and then eventually some plywood up on top and make that little space started wooden off the wall here ran out of fencing board but it looks great at first i was just going to do above the ac here but then i was like dude this looks great i got to do the whole wall like this so i kept going until i ran out of material <sighs> dressers Food, kind of low on cans, it's almost empty, just bought that one, can't get the big one right now, but I will, that stuff is awesome, recommend it if you're living off grid, boxed milk, also powdered milk, got sugar, honey, rice, Hell yeah, marshmallows. Uh, spices were there too. Seasonings. My coffee cup, my water cup. Make sure you get salt. Legendary hat. Let's go outside. It is pretty warm, so I'm just gonna go out there as is. The other day it was a lot hotter than this. Now that's not how hot it is here in the cabin. It's probably like 102, 100, 102 here in the cabin. And then outside it's probably like, I don't know, maybe 89. But let's go outside. Okay. So I did build the new deck. I haven't mentioned that, but you've probably uh, noticed it in other videos. Chickens are really at work right here. If you remember, if you've seen earlier videos, this used to be like, yeah, they pushed it all the way back right there. A bunch of branches have fallen off. Shoe. This right here. So some my friends gave it to me. I know I did a video on it, and I'm hoping someday, hopefully before the winter, I can get this like right over here against the wall and have it going out probably like right here. I could probably do it myself. But I don't know. It might be easier to just hire someone to do it. Definitely gonna definitely gonna need some help getting it in there. Thing weighs a ton.
This is where the chickens were getting in. If you remember, this is where I was building my... My basement. I filled it in because they kept uh, going in and out from right here and the animals, the cat was too, and the dogs were puppies and it was just eroding further and further and further. And I can't, I can't deal with the corner collapsing and so I just filled it in. And there's nothing back there but dirt. Oh, look at that. And right now I got one laying an egg. She wants a turn. And I got this one right here. This is the one that was blind. Oh, I didn't do any video on that, but yeah, she got attacked and she went blind for a while. Her whole face was like a turtle shell scab. She got in a fight with one of the uh, the white, the, the uh, white Americanas. She's a black Americana, but she recovered for one week. And so she's sitting on five, six eggs. None of them belong to her, but yeah. One of them, so I, I think they belong, I'm 99% sure they belong to the, rock hens and the Orphingtons. Here's Javier. He has a cough which has spread to a lot of the other chickens that seem to be recovering but I'm keeping them separate for more than that reason. For a lot of reasons I keep them separate actually. <sighs> Brother's been healthy. She's doing better. Her back was pretty bad. Looking a lot better now. Solar panels, panels went through hell during that windstorm we had earlier, I think it was last month. They got blown around. This one was in mint condition. I don't even know if that'll work now. They got just it's like a deck of cards scattered everywhere all over right here. It was, it was terrible. So I don't know. I even made some phone calls trying to figure out how to get these things hooked up. And it just went, it was like a... One call to another to another, and I don't know. Now I feel like they're just this toxic mess sitting on my land, wasting, wasting time. This is the only good one left. <clears throat> wasting our life, wasting space. Some materials. <sighs> so many times that's blown away. My trees, one tree there that you can see, and then there's a small tree there. This was where the pine tree was. The pine tree unfortunately died like last year. I don't think it survived after being planted and then dug up and then replanted in a place that wasn't so much shade. I don't know. I just replaced it with a tree someone gave me. Chicken coop, a lot more shade. It's doing pretty good. Bunch of junk. Still haven't really used this. They didn't use that. Oh, let's see what's going on over here. The other spot, they get in from that little hole right there. Look at that, she's busy laying an egg. There's one right there. Uh oh, that got a lot of blood on it. Let me know if that's a bad sign. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It must have been really stressful trying to lay that egg for some reason. Food, water, where I keep my rentals and whatnot. Gotta throw those in there. Chicken feed. Gotta buy more than one bag now. That's my last bag right there. Here's the Orient, uh, oleander bush. It's doing pretty good. I'm always having to throw dirt here to keep the chickens from destroying this. They're always kicking and digging and scratching, and it's just their nature. And even if I, you know, that's why, I, you know, the rocks, the chicken wire, everything to try and protect this. If I removed all this, they would destroy this and they'd eat it and it wouldn't even poison them either. Should probably cover this up, but I got some oil for it. I haven't fired it up yet, but I tried. Just need some oil. Got the oil now. Got this. $40 I spent on it and worked only one night. Set them up outside, zap the bugs. Still works attracting the bugs, but the zap part stopped. And I can't find the receipt. I swore I saved all the receipts. But yeah. Fire pit works well. Um, big thank you again 
to the person who made the donation. I figured out what I was going to donate, what I'm going to do that towards. And so the people that sold me this car sold me a lemon. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Might have. The engine's bad and it doesn't have any cat converters. Someone just took the cat converters off the bottom and popped in a straight pipe. So it's totally legit. They're just waiting for a smog, which is never going to come. The engine's going to go soon. And so I need a new car. Found a new car. The guy wants $1,000. It's beautiful. I think, uh, I think it's like a 66 Chevrolet or Chevy, one or the other. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm just a couple hundred dollars short of buying that car. And it's going to work out great for me. It doesn't need to pass smog. And he says it runs great. And he's driven it before. It just needs to swap out the tires and fix ignition. And he'll do that for him. So praying. But yeah, I know... I know the funding will come and that car will be mine. I'm hoping, uh, well, two years at the end of this month will be my anniversary here. So I'm thinking, hoping, I think I can get it probably by August. We'll see. This is doing pretty good. Pretty tall now. Good, almost you know, two and a half, maybe three feet. Got that from my dad's yard. Got this from, my brother got this from, I've mentioned this before, uh, grocery outlet in San Jose. So both these in San Jose, you know Carl. <sighs> garden's doing well. Got sick and tired of the chickens getting into the garden and just destroying things. I keep most of the stuff here, believe it or not, to keep the chickens from sticking their heads into the the um, chain link here. They'll destroy the garden. Um, so yeah, I finally just, that was my new garden over there, but I finally, I just took that apart and gated this whole thing in right here. So this is the new garden. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with that over there eventually do something with those posts. One crease out in the garden. There's my trees right here. They're doing pretty dang good. It's a stock of corn. Washing some dishes, water tank. Guy came back, filled it up, laundry, all that good stuff. It's done right there. These are growing, got a whole bunch of these. All growing. That's, uh, well, I thought that was corn. I guess not. <laughs> this is doing well. It's a different type of choya. It's blind prickly pear. Doing pretty well. Just cut that one today. Or not today. This year. Like a month ago. Maybe a month ago. It's purple. It's pretty awesome. Can't wait to get those going. It's another regular prickly pear regular silver choya it's the small uh, i forgot the name first one i put in the pot the ones you see out there that i've been growing prickly pear a uh, little pepper plant hopefully that as well that's uh, uh another silver choya something else growing in there this one's also doing well i should have put that in a bigger pot i know i will a lot of these are going to get swapped next year these ones are all staying these ones are going to get that one those two are going to get swapped into a bigger pot that one's probably going to get swapped into a bigger pot mm, laid an egg this one's gonna get swapped into a bigger pot. Gotta pull that onion. Um, regular silver choya. Peppers grown in here, bell peppers. Um, that's a Joshua tree, still doing pretty well. Another pepper plant. Corn, sunflowers, all mostly for the chickens. If they can just stop getting in here and destroying the stuff. Lots of seeds left over from the uh, radishes. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave them in here and let them grow and sprout for next year. Okay. Yeah. Get all this new fencing done. New road. Works perfect when the truck comes up to fill up the truck the water and you can just pull on pull on through. Just the way I wanted it to go. So I'm probably gonna 
make this like a service access, service access path. Build other things along here. Some lady offered me a goat. Wanted me, she wanted me to take it right away. But I'm not ready for a goat. I don't have a space yet set up. I don't have enough. I need more chicken wire like this, at least. Strong enough to hold back a goat. You know, not like this. I gotta build it some shade. All that good stuff. But yeah, the fence is all done. The only thing is right here. This is the only thing I have. I haven't finished building is the front gate. But yeah. I don't know, I'll figure that out. <clears throat> that was what I was gonna use, but it's not long enough. It broke and most of the wood I used was really weak and flimsy and old anyways. This is doing well. This is doing well. This is that small prickly pear. Never seen a pad this big. Look at that. They're usually only five to six inch pads. But yeah, that thing's huge. It's the same one as this <coughs> other ones. Uh, the small heart-shaped one that I showed you that was in the pot. Um, teddy bear. Silver, silver, uh, silver choya, teddy bear choya. Doing well. Growing. It's my bone garden. Antelope, pretty sure. Blue mural. Silver choya. Looking really big. growing getting there it's the first I put this in November 2022 year that I moved out here finally grown chickens just been destroying it like in the first year the animals kept digging up the wild animals the chickens squirrels eating it the second year the locusts were eating it here's another that small prickly pear this is what they should look like about five six inch pads Fruits on there, maturing. I don't know what that is. I bought that at a, some small orchard. Let me know if you know the name of this one right here. Let's see here. It's growing. But all these I just put in. It's just from uh, the windstorm. All of these big ones are here. Fell over, guy just chopped it up, threw it in the back of his truck or something, and dumped it out in the desert. And I found and grabbed a bunch of pieces. Not even most of them. Someone else ended up grabbing the rest of them. But yeah, this one's doing really well. It's already got that fresh growth on the top there. It's pretty awesome. These are fruits, four of them. growing doing pretty well right behind the sign i hope one day it doesn't get so big that it like collapses on the sign because the wind is usually blowing that way and then one on this side so one here and one over there all right that's pretty much it probably stop there it's gotten long enough that's how I'm doing that's how the oh wait oh daisy solar lights I put out again it's another one I don't know the name of let me know another blue mural this one I can it's pretty cool because I can see it from my door it's just getting tall just put it there in February that's melon I don't know if it's watermelon or if it's uh I don't know if it's watermelon or if it's cantaloupe, which one of the other seeds, but yeah. And then again, maybe the other one with the five inch to six inch pads. All doing great. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for your support. Adios. Amigos.